this is a short video on using triangulation to calculate the flow direction of groundwater when you have three different well measurements. So in this example, we've got the high point, which is 17.18 metres, the middle head height, which is 16.68, and the lowest, which is 13.18 metres. The distance between the highest and the lowest point is 600 metres. To work out the hydraulic gradient, we need to know the difference between the head heights, which is the difference between the highest and the lowest, and that is divided by the length, which is the distance between the highest head point and the lowest. In this instance, it's 17.18 metres minus 13.18 metres divided by 600 metres, which gives us 0 0.007 metres per metre. To work out the velocity of the, the groundwater, we use Darcy's equation. Darcy's equation, we have K over NE divided by delta H over L. K, a V is the velocity of the groundwater. K is the hydraulic conductivity, which is given to us as 2.5 metres per day. And E is the effective porosity of, an aqua, of the aquifer. In this instance, it's given as 0 0.3. Delta H over L is the hydraulic gradient, which we calculated over here as 0 0.007 metres per metre. And when you put all those numbers into the equation, we get a result of 0.058 metres per day is the velocity of the groundwater in this aquifer. To work out the flow direction, we need to find where the middle well height comes across. So the, it's like a contour line, it's called an equipotential line of the middle well height. To do that, we need to, we need to use this equation here. Where L is the equipotential line for the middle well height between the highest and lowest well height. In this case, it's that one here. M is the middle well height and L is the lowest well height. And H is the highest well height. And D is the distance between the highest well height and the lowest well height. When you put all those numbers into the formula, we get L is 525 metres. To measure that, we need to measure from the lowest well height towards the highest well height. So we need to measure 525 metres that way. And that's where it comes out at. So it's 525 metres from the lowest well height to the highest well height. You draw a line then coming from the middle well height because that point is where the 16.68 metres is along this height here, along this distance between the 17.18 and the 13.18. That point right there is where the 16.68 metre line crosses. And that's called the 16.68 metre equipotential line. Now to find the flow direction from this point, we, we need to remember the fact that all, that the groundwater flow crosses equipotential lines at right angles. And we're going to do this from the highest well height head 
So it needs to be a right angle. There's our right angle there. And it needs to come from that well height there. We draw that line in. And that is our flow direction for this for these three wells. I hope that's helped you a little bit. Thank you.